So let me hit with y'all with some boxing talk. So Mike Tyson said it was hard for him to get around. It's hard to walk. He said that but when it comes to fight time, he'll be more than ready. I really don't understand what this obsession is with someone of his age that is having physical limitations, pain, suffering before an actual fight. And the fight probably is not going to happen. And to be honest with you, um, Shannon Briggs has already said that he's willing to step up if you know Mike Tyson can't do it to fight Jake Paul. Okay. I said before, I really don't ever think this fight was really supposed to happen. And people, yeah, but why would they go through all that? This is the entertainment business. This is what people do. And honestly, even if the fight doesn't happen, it's putting eyes on Mike Tyson and it's also putting eyes on Jake Paul. So whatever they decide to do, whether they actually fight or not, you know, Mike Tyson still has his podcast and, you know, he does what he does. But at the end of the day, even if Jake Paul was to fight this version of Mike Tyson and win, if he was to fight this version of, a, you know, Shannon Briggs, I don't know what Shannon has left in the tank. I don't know um, what Shannon's been doing other than just doing interviews here and there. This still by no way, shape or form puts Jake Paul in a position to fight for a title, but I straight up believe this is exactly what they plan on doing, putting him in there with guys that's way past their prime, old enough to be his dad, and pretty much just trying to build Jake Paul and hope that Jake Paul, if he ends up somehow in a title fight, that this will, you know, be a situation where win, lose, draw, it's another big payday. Listen, it is what it is, but I'm looking at it from this standpoint. For Jake Paul to be fighting a guy in Mike Tyson's physical condition, it's not just his age thing, because, I mean, it'd be one thing if Mike was this age and you know, his body wasn't hurting, he wasn't going through these things, and, and he was just physically ready, and, you know, for Mike Tyson to say he's in better shape, the best shape of his uh, of his life, and he's now better than he was when, 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 you know, back when he had those losses at 38 years old, like, stop it, man. You know, um, in case the fight is to go on, even to try to say those things to make it look like, well, all hope isn't lost. Well, I mean, you said it was hard to walk, man. People saw videos of you. You know, we saw you walking with a cane. I mean, so for you to have um, the situation that's going on with you physically, I mean, other than it's Mike Tyson and, oh, shit, Jake Paul has a following. There's nothing about this fight for me that I personally care about. I don't even care to see the fight, but for the people that are invested into this fight, just look at what you guys are getting behind. Look at what you're supporting, and don't get me wrong. Like Shannon Briggs said, yeah, at Mike's age, it'd be great for him to be able to still make some money doing this, and you know, for Jake Paul, it's going to be lucrative just because of Mike Tyson's name, win, lose, or draw, but at the same time, this is what boxing has come to. Like, I mean, like, like, this is what boxing has come to. Just saying, y'all. It is what it is. That's all I got for y'all right now. I'll be back get y'all with some more boxing talk. In the U.S., a black man can be executed for a murder that he didn't commit, with literal DNA evidence on the murder weapon proving him innocent. While on the other hand, we have a billionaire white man who raped women, allegedly raped a 13-year-old child, misappropriated campaign funds, uh, falsified business records and incited an insurrection and not only is he a free man but he's also running to be fucking president in the u.s it doesn't matter what crime a person commits or even if that person committed the crime in question or not the crime doesn't determine the outcome or the punishment what does is the color of that person's skin and the amount of money they have to pay for lawyers to defend themselves i wish i could say that what happened to marcellus williams is a one-off but in reality it's not 
We have tens of thousands of innocent people locked away in prison right now. We have innocent people on death row right now. We have executed innocent people on death row before. I highly recommend reading the book Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson and A Knock at Midnight by Brittany K. Barnett. Our justice and prison system need major reforms. It is a really sad day to be an American.